Alrighty, so today we are going to be making an easy peasy sweet and sour sticky cauliflower dish. Mm -mm -mm. Again, this is using just simple ingredients from your fridge and it takes absolutely no skill whatsoever. So have a look below and see what ingredients you need. Grab your ingredients and come and join me in your kitchen make sure to have a clean surface we don't want to be cooking in any mess all right so to begin with we're going to start with a cup of chickpea flour and a cup of water and we are going to mix this all up together now chickpea flour has some separation anxiety issues so you really have to get stuck in and make sure you push down on all those clumpy bits and mix it up completely it might have been better to use a whisk for this um but you'll see in this video i get confused with kitchen utensils um that's all right this worked for me and um I'm sure it'll work for you. <laughs> All right, so once your batter is nice and combined, we are going to grab our baking tray and preheat our oven to about 200 degrees Celsius or 180. My oven sucks, so I've always got to play around with that. Um, anyway, dip your cauliflower into your batter, making sure to coat it evenly and shaking off the rest. Uh, you might want to do this one by one to get a nice even coat or you can just whack everything into your bowl and get involved with your hands um, so yeah mix it around making sure to use as much as the butter as you can and coating all of the little white bits of your cauliflower then space them out onto your baking tray and if you have any little pieces, you can put them together because they kind of join together in the baking, um, the baking time. <laughs> uh, and they'll form nice like cauliflower fritters. So if your florets are not even like mine, um, you know, that's all right. Um, we live and we learn and we get better with practice. So once you've put all your cauliflower onto your baking tray, you can just whack that into the oven, making sure to wash your hands. And halfway through, so at about 10 minutes, you can take it out, flip it. Uh, please don't burn your fingers. I'm actually going super fast here because my fingers are on fire. Whack it back into the oven and then let's get on with our sweet and sour sauce so you're going to put some soy sauce and honey or maple syrup into a pot and combine it on medium heat until they are bubbles then whack in your ginger and your garlic and your chili sauce um, I've used a Korean chili sauce uh, because it's super super spicy but you can use the rat or fresh chili if you'd like Next, add your rice, vinegar, and sesame seeds. Some recipes call for oil, but I don't like using oil because there's no nutritional value in it. So I just leave out the oil. We're going to whisk that all together, making sure that it's combined. And you can do this on your stove. Um, I'm not doing it on mine, but that's all right. Then add your tapioca starch or cornstarch or arrowroot uh, with some water and mix it until there are no clumps. Um, fun fact, arrowroot is actually the most nutritious and then tapioca and then cornstarch. Anyway, we're going to put this onto a high heat, mix it up and you will watch the magic happen as this becomes super thick and gloopy. And you can also use starches to make different types of cheese, but we'll get to that later. Anyway, add your cauliflower to your sauce and any veg. I'm using red, yellow, and green pepper. And again, do not use a whisk to try and mix it together. It does not work. Instead, use a spatula. You see, I'm using the wrong utensils at the wrong time. Anyway, mix it all up, combine it, and you can set it aside just to soak up all of the flavor. 
and then Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, serve it with a little bit of rice. I've sprinkled some green onions, some toasted sesame seeds and added some cashews to mine and I am getting ready to enjoy. Again, thank you for watching this video and please give us a like, it costs you nothing. If you like what you see or if you don't, leave us a comment below because we love your feedback. Until next time.